Oh, there's loads of music in this. Um, is it that way? This is where I can get a bit confusing. Oh, I know this bit. Got any spare wood on you, mate? Did you just hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You can at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. <laughs> Sorry, but it's just that I've never seen a talking stump before. Ho, ho, ho! A talking stump, he says. Who ever heard of a talking stump? I can't imagine how such a ludicrous thought came into my head. Anyway, you got any spare wood or not? <laughs> Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Uh, we're woodworm. We need wood to live. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realize you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? <laughs> yeah. What sort of fool do you take me for? Sorry, I guess we got the wrong impression. <laughs> How come you woodworm are talking anyway? That's just so typical. <coughs> we just presume we don't talk just because we're woodworm. Let me tell you something, mate. Your attitude is bloody typical of humanity in general. It makes me sick. You never talk to us. You just presume that woodworm can't talk. It's just racism to the third degree. Look, I didn't mean to offend anyone. That's what they all say. One misplaced foot and ten of my best friends never breathe again. I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Oh, gopher wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blubberbun! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak, mahogany. Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is, then. <laughs> Fine. Anything to help a woodworm in distress. You won't regret this, you know. All right, so I gotta find some mahogany for the woodworm. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong! 
referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you, and then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's that easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the front. Now, come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff, and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in the stead. <laughs> I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. <coughs> okay, guess I can't. I'm sure we can come to. Can't go that way then. <laughs> yes. too well. I think we'll have to do this bit just yet. Basically now just trying to remember which way I need to go. to be the problem it's this thorn I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out let's have a look at it then soon have this out it might sting a bit wow. there we are all done thank you so much I'm forever in your debt think nothing of it <laughs> okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. <laughs> can I go up here? Yes, I can. Maybe I should wander off the beaten track, because I'll just get lost. Oh, I'm back here again. <laughs> Let's 
good thing about this game, the, the graphic style is amazing. Oh, I'm back here again. I can't remember if there's anything here, I don't think there is. A stone table used for the sacrificing of shaved lions. So this is kind of pointless, there's nothing here. Well, that, I'll just look at that. Forest. Okay, what's go this way? Ah. It says caution, paleontological dig in process. <laughs> There's a strange man digging down there. That's so strange. Hello, time. is there anybody down there? And nobody here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? <laughs> You're fixing a gas leak. <laughs> yeah. You're fixing a gas leak? No, nope. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. <laughs> of course, the renowned digger of deep holes. Philistine. <laughs> I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. <clears throat> and you reckon you're gonna find it down that hole? I am looking for fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Come on. I didn't even look at it. It's a shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. Um, I can't remember if I... Choked on it. Right. Wow. Very sophisticated. Itchy, though. I can't remember if I need to go in here just yet. We'll find out. All right, mate. All right. What's the password then? Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. Watch your fella dwarf. Go away, I'm busy. What's rattling your cage? You, now go away. <laughs> I'm an inspector from head office. Where's your ID? Uh, I've left it at home. Leave me alone. Excuse me. Hello. Wow, heavy sleeper. <laughs> Barrels. 
He looks very drunk. Yeah, that wasn't anything I can do down here just yet. I couldn't remember if they could do it or not. So I don't think he'll let me go down here. Stop! Guard! Get rid of him! Duty dwarves only! I am a duty dwarf. No, you're not. Fair enough. So naff off! But I'm standing in for Axe Face Skull Splitter. Why? What's wrong with him? Some <laughs> trolls mistook him for a chair. I don't believe you. Fair enough. So naff off! Naff off yourself. Ow! Yeah, he's not gonna let me in there. So yeah. <laughs> 